Hello out there to you. In this video, we're going to look answer some questions based on a demand schedule and a supply schedule. Um, this part right here of this table, that is known as a demand schedule. We've got price and quantity demanded. Uh, at each price, it's the number that the consumers want to buy. Okay, so for example, when the price is two, quantity demanded is 16. So in English, that's the consumers want to buy 16 units. Okay, now this part, this with this and this, this is quantity supplied and price. So that's known as a supply schedule. So they're both on the same table. Okay, that's what they've got here. Okay, market demand, market supply schedule. Um, equilibrium happens where quantity demanded equals quantity supplied. So we just find that. Okay, so we're going to find that right here. So the equilibrium quantity is 12. And then the equilibrium price, come on over here, is 4. because that's the corresponding price. Okay, you could graph all this, but I'm using a table. So uh, then if the price is $2, oh, what happens to the market? So the consumers want to buy 16. Uh, the sellers only want to sell six, so the quantity supplied is six. That's a difference of 10, and that's a shortage. We don't have enough, so we have a shortage of 10 units Okay, on B. And then on C, the price of pen, oh, and what happens in the market? Well, I guess a shortage, and then the price uh, will increase as you get back towards equilibrium. Price of $9, let's go find that. Uh, we're down here. And now the consumers only want to buy one. So quantity demanded is one. And then the sellers want to sell a lot more. They want to sell 25. So quantity supplied is 25. It's a difference of 24. And we have 24 too much. So we have a surplus of 24 units. So the price is going to fall as sellers want to sell their excess units. We're going to get back towards four, and that's how to think about equilibrium price and equilibrium quantity given a supply and demand schedule.